Hey, how's it going? It's you. Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new Valorant episode 10 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be talking about a lot of useful information. Watch it till the end. And with all this said, let's get started with the intro without wasting any more time. All right, step number one is the best windows settings. And for that, what you have to do is simply search for settings on your PC. And once you are here, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to improve your PC's performance because it disables the overlays running on your game, which consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to disable unnecessary interrupts that defocuses your game and help you to improve the performance of your gameplay. Right beneath that, head down to graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings over here and enable both hardware X rated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and use advanced features to help you reduce the render latency as well. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and go to the download location of Valorant. Most probably, you'll have it in local list C. Head down to Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Engine, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and you'll find Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Simply add it, and if that is available, head over to its options and then select High Performance, and then click on Save. This will help you to use your physical graphic card over your integrated graphic card. Step number two is compatibility settings. For that, open up your local disk C, head down to Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and scroll a bit down until you find Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to its properties, and then click on compatibility. Then click on disable full screen optimizations, then click on change high DPI settings, Select Override High DPI Scaling Behavior and then click on Application. Click on OK, click on Apply and close it. This will help you to reduce your input latency as well. Before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to a very simple yet efficient tool that is 4D DIG Disk Copy. You can come to this page from the link in the description below and simply click on the free download button over here and download a very simple program that looks like this. And over here, you'll see two simple features. First one is cloning your disk and second one is cloning a partition. If you want to create backup of your disk onto an SSD or if you're planning to just keep a backup of your data. Now first you have to select your source disk that is in my case will be disk 3 as it contains my C drive. Then clicking on the next button I have to select the target disk where I want to store my data or backup it. That will be disk 0 over here and then simply clicking on next it will start wiping all of the data of my disk and creating a complete one-to-one -one backup of all of the data onto the new disk. It is a one-click task which you guys can do right over here. It is really good if you guys are willing to take backups or if you're planning to move your data from your hard disk drive to an SSD. Once again, this tool is really beneficial for all of you guys who are involved in content creation or you are traveling and you just want backup of your data. You can go check out 4D DIG disk copy from the link in the description below. Let's move ahead. Next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your PC and over here look for a local disk C. Click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant episode 10 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and I would recommend you guys to download this on your PC. This is really important because it has five folders that will help you to drastically improve your PC's performance. Let's start with the first one, that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priorities. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority on your PC. And you can do the same for the Intel CPU. CPU. It will help you to set up the correct DWORD priority on your CPU and disable all kind of power saving features that will help you to optimize its performance and throughput. Second one is RAM optimization and it does the same thing but for your RAM. Once again, I have left a ton of presets according to your PC and I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can select according to your PC. Once again, if you are unaware of it, you can simply search for system information and then look for installed physical memory over here. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can 
can simply double click on reset to default and reset it back. Third folder is the most important one, which is the Valorant priority over here in which I have left above normal and high priority. And you guys have to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply on your PC. Fourth one is PC optimization in which I have left BCD tweaks, disabling memory compression and process mitigation. All three of them will help you to reduce your input latency and CPU load, which will help you to ultimately improve your PC's performance. What you have to do is right click and run them as administrator and you guys can edit admin in notepad to see what other changes it is going to do. The basic function of these batch files are to run some commands on your PC hassle free, which will help you to reduce all kind of input latency and issues on your PC. Final folder is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot bash. You can right click and run it as administrator and this will politely ask you to press any key to delete all temporary files off of your PC. It's a good practice to do this every now and then as it will help you to remove unnecessary files from your PC. These are dump files and are no longer needed. Next is quick CPU and which is a very important tool over here that you have to run it as administrator. Once it opens up, it should look like this. And what you guys are seeing over here is the complete interface. Now, it may look very complicated, but it's actually very easy. Firstly, you'll find something called max performance over here. Simply click on that and then click on accept. It will apply the best settings possible to reduce your CPU utilization on your PC. And then make sure to slide all of these four sliders up to 100% over here and it will help you to disable core parking, improve your frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance of your CPU. Simply click on apply after that and close this program as it will help you to reduce your CPU load, CPU consumption, number of processes running in the background and a lot more, which is really useful. Simply close this. Now next step is disabling unwanted startup applications on your PC. And for that, simply press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and it will open up Task Manager in front of you. Simply go over to Startup Apps and you'll see a ton of apps on your PC. The lower these number of apps are, the better your PC's performance and your booting time is. These are the apps which are running in the background right from the boot of your PC. And they are consuming your CPU and RAM utilization in the background. Disable as many as you can and only disable the ones that you do not use after the boot of your PC. This will help you to improve your system's performance in the long run as well. Next step is setting up your virtual memory correctly. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of your PC and then click on the advanced tab. Then click on the change button over here and then deselect automatically manage paging file size. Then set the initial size to 1361 and then open up a calculator on your PC. Now you have to multiply your RAM that is 32 GB for me with 1024 to get it in megabytes. Now divide this value by two and a new value should be pasted in the maximum size. Click on set, click on OK. And this is how you optimally set your virtual memory on your PC. The basic, the basic principle of virtual memory is that when your PC is running out of your physical memory, it will utilize your virtual memory that will be created on your disk drive and it helps you to stabilize the performance even if the RAM is completely used. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, network issues, ping issues, latency issues using one simple application called no ping that you can download from the link in the description below. I personally use this application myself because it acts as a VPN which allows your PC to connect right to the game servers without any hindrance. It offers you over 1000 games to choose from. Simply look up for Valorant over here and then click on select the server. Then scroll a bit down until you find the nearest servers to you which offers you the lowest amount of ping. For me that will be Mumbai 02 as it is giving me 5 milliseconds of ping and as soon as I click on optimize this game it will directly connect my PC to the game servers without any hindrance it acts like a tunnel which helps you to improve all kind of packet loss jitter ping latency issues and a lot more the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here where you can enable turbo games to reduce your keyboard input latency and a dedicated fps boost section where you can apply all of these settings to improve the performance of fps on your pc right in one place so basically it is a one-stop shop solution for all of you guys i personally use it myself and i have seen drastic differences and i have left a link for you guys in the description below to go check out no ping for yourself as well it's completely worth it so make sure to give it a try 
once you're done applying all of these settings you guys can now drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to settings over here what you have to do is go down to the gen now over here you'll be in the general settings where you'll find something called raw input buffer you guys have to keep it on and then head over to video settings and then in the general part for the display mode set it to full screen resolution should be your native resolution monitor should be your native monitor then nvidia reflex low latency you guys have to keep it to on plus boost graphics quality in here you'll find something called multi-threaded rendering it's a really important step over here if you guys have a processor with more than four cores i would recommend you guys to leave it on on Otherwise, if you have a dual core processor, which I believe none of you might have right now, you guys can keep it off. But for majority of you guys, you have to keep it on. Material, texture and detail quality, all of them should be set to low. Vignette should be turned off. V-Sync should be turned off. Anti-aliasing, I have gone with none. While anisotropic filtering, I go with 2x. Improved clarity, I have kept it on, but sometimes it's a FPS impactor. So if that impact your fps you guys can keep it off but other than that everything else should be set to off and that should be it now you guys can drop into the game with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we are really close to 210 000 subscribers and i believe in you all also we have launched channel membership so if you guys are not a member yet you guys can get the membership to show your love and support and your name will be featured on the end screen of the videos we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out